All right, Dave Johnson, editor of eHow Tech on the show floor, Consumer Electronics Show 2014. And when I knew I was coming to CES, one of the things that I most wanted to see was this right here, the Lit Motors C1. Now, I'm going to describe this. This is this is Ryan. Hello. Um, and I'm going to describe it, and you can uh, you can fill in the gaps and correct me. I've been telling people that this is an all-electric, um, two-wheeled, gyroscopically stabilized vehicle. Essentially, an electric motorcycle with a shell that makes it be look like a car, but and the gyros make it behave sort of like a car. Yeah, I would say it's really more of like a two-wheeled car. Um, I mean, as, as you said, it behaves much more like a car, but much more importantly, the driving experience is like a car. So, you know, as you can see here, you're sitting in a seat, very familiar. You have a steering wheel, very familiar. Accelerator pedal, brake pedal. Uh, but it's using a drive-by-wire system. So you don't need to know how to balance. You don't need to know how to, drive a, uh, how to ride a motorcycle. You don't even need to know what counter steering is. It's as simple as steer right, turn right, steer left, turn left. So the gyros keep it upright at all times? The gyros keep it in control of its own uh, orientation at all times. So when you're going straight, it's upright. When you go into a turn, it leans it into the turn at the precise angle that you need. When you steer back out of the turn, it leans it back upright. And then those gyros are actually powerful enough that even in a collision, they'll keep the vehicle upright. So um, I, I saw the uh, the rendering on the website, and it looks kind of like you say it gets T-boned by something. It just kind of skitters across the road, essentially. Exactly. It makes it so that uh, unlike a motorcycle or any other two-wheeled vehicle where you get hit and the vehicle goes down, it flips, it rolls, uh, the rider gets injured, uh, this just slides sideways like a typical four-wheeled car. And that, in conjunction with the uh, reinforced steel unibody chassis, seat belts and multiple airbags keeps you just as safe as a full-size car. Okay, and it is all electric and it has a range of about 200 miles? Yeah, it's totally electric, range of 200 miles, uh, about the same as a Tesla Model S, uh, top speed about, a, about 100 miles an hour, so you can take it on the freeway, you can you know take it pretty much anywhere, uh, 0 to 60 in about 6 seconds, so it's pretty quick off the line. And it is classified as a motorcycle, right? So you need a motorcycle license to, to drive this? So it is technically a motorcycle, yes. Uh, but we're getting exemptions made such that you will only need a regular driver's license and no helmet required. Interesting. OK, so what else is awesome about it? Did we cover all the details, or is there anything else that, that we left out? Uh, it's basically just the best way to get around the city, and it's very, very efficient. So not just energy efficient, but spatially efficient. So uh, you're, it's very easy to slip through traffic. Uh, you know, in California, you can lane split, uh, and uh, you can also use really, really small parking spaces, uh, even motorcycle-specific parking spaces. And uh, there, it's not here in the in the prototype, but uh, there's there's a back seat, right? Correct, yeah. So the electronics that you see here uh, in this prototype will all be miniaturized. So there's actually space behind the driver for uh, an adult passenger or for about as much cargo as you can carry on a plane. So like a roller bag, briefcase or a backpack, uh, a couple bags of groceries. Okay, and when can people buy one of these? You can buy one right now. Uh, we're taking pre-orders on our website, uh, litmotors.com, and we're going to begin production by the end of this year. So I can look like I stepped out in the movie Tron. Exactly, Tron, Akira, uh, you know, all sorts of all sorts of futuristic movies. We're basically making the future of transportation. Awesome, thank you very much. So Dave Johnson, editor of eHow Tech, here with the C1, which will be my next vehicle. See you on the show floor.